Hi everyone, today I'm gonna talk to you about the kinetic effect of two different types of photoartosis on a posterior tibialis tendon dysfunction population. My name is Dominic Chiquan and I'm a former podiatrist in Quebec City. So posterior tibialis muscle play an important role in human locomotion as he dissipates the impact force during loading and he recipinates the foot during propulsion. Posterior tibialis tendon dysfunction is the primary cause of adult acquired flat foot. Its prevalence uh, in the population is 3% of women of 40 years and older, but there's probably more because it's often misdiagnosed by the different health care professional. Posterior tibialis tendon dysfunction as different stage as described by Johnston and Strom in 1989. In stage 1, there is pain on palpation along the PT tendon and we can also see tendon edema. Um, in stage 2, there is the apparition of a flat foot deformity with a valgus rear foot and, and, and an addicted forefoot. As we can see on the... Uh, on the picture on the right of your screen with the stage 2 uh, on the left foot uh, of a PTTD individuals with a valgus rear foot and an abducted forefoot also known as the two minito sign in stage 3 and 4 there is rigidification of those deformities with uh, fibrillar muscle spasticity and ankle arthrosis uh, can also be can also be seen so uh, there's an increase in the ankle eversion angle at the ankle joint in PTTD population compared to control individuals. Barnall and, and Chicoin and all show that photoartosis have an effect as it decreases ankle eversion angle um, on individuals with PTTD, and photoartosis can decrease ankle eversion angle. But we, we also know that uh, ankle inversion moment can be higher uh, in this population as shown by Ringlab in 2007. Uh, so the structure medial to the ankle joint center will have to, uh, will, uh, will, have, um, will have higher stress uh, compared to uh, LT counterparts. Limited research has investigated the angle kinetics of PTTD uh, population uh, and the effect of photoartosis uh, on this joint. So the purpose of our study was to compare the effect of three different types of photoartosis on ankle kinetics during walking on PTTD individuals. So to do so, we uh, recruited 14 uh, individuals. Our exclusion criteria were to have uh, no other foot pathology, neurological disorders, or ankle surgery. Um, uh, one month prior to the study onset, uh, no ankle joint injection or wear of orthopedic support. Our inclusion criteria was to be affected by stage 1 or 2 PTTD inclusively. So we recruited an equal number of stage 1 and 2 PTTD, 7 of each. And uh, you can also uh, observe uh, that the uh, foot posture index is higher on the involved side compared to the uninvolved side. We used 10 infrared cameras incorporated in a walkway with one force plate. We used the modified Oxford foot model and uh, we conducted five trials per condition. We instructed participants to walk at their uh, natural pace with a metronome. Participants walk until the end of the stairs, as you, uh, of the walkway, sorry, as you can see there. Uh, we use four randomized conditions, the shoe alone, the shoe with prefabricated photoartosis and the shoe with custom photoartosis and the shoe with custom virus photoartosis. Uh, for the custom photoartosis, uh, 
uh, we uh, the custom photos were manufactured from a subtolerant neutral cast with the partisan pro participant prone and keeping a neutral relation from rear foot to forefoot minimal filling cast was performed for both custom photorthosis uh, the custom virus condition had a 5 degrees medial wedge and a 4 millimeter medial skive uh, those specifications were constant for all participants the variables analyzed was the uh, frontal sagittal and transverse ankle kinetics during the support phase of walking uh, the joint moment norm uh, was normalized to the weight and height of each participants. We used the 1D statistical parametric mapping with the P under 0.05. We can see here the main effect um, at the ankle joint in the sagittal, frontal, and transverse planes. Transverse plane um, on the y-axis, there is the the moment, uh, the joint moment. Uh, in the flexion uh, on the positive uh, end and the negative end, the extension of the ankle joint uh, in the sagittal, in the frontal plane, the inversion in the positive hand and in the negative hand, the uh, inversion moment, and in the transverse plane, the adduction moment and the abduction, ab abduction moment at the negative end of the uh, y-axis on the x-axis this is the the support phase of gate the stance phase of gate um, uh, and the percentage of the stance phase of gate in the black uh, on the black line you can see the shoe condition the blue line the prefabricated phototosis condition and the green line the custom photorthosis condition in the custom virus photorthosis with the red line so uh, the, the, the our main results are that uh, custom photorthosis decrease uh, ankle inversion moment compared to the prefabricated in the shoe condition and the custom virus photorthosis uh, add an effect on the longer uh, period of the stance phase uh, of gait. Um, uh, compared to the custom photorthosis, so the custom virus photorthosis had a, a better effect. In the sagittal plane, we had minor effect, and in the transverse plane, plane um, uh, custom photorthosis uh, increased ankle abduction moment so custom photorthosis significantly reduce ankle inversion moment uh, by the metallization of the center of photorthosis reaction force as we can see here uh, with the standard photorthosis uh, the, 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 the the center of, of the uh, photorthosis reaction force is aligned with the uh, with the ankle joint center but with custom and custom virus photorthosis, there is medialization of this reaction force and uh, it can decrease uh, ankle inversion moment. Uh, so photorthosis can be beneficial at the ankle for, pre for PTTD individuals, but it may impact the knee as uh, with the uh, medialization of the point of application of force it can increase knee abduction moment and a systematic review showed that uh, iron knee abduction moment is correlated to medial knee osteoarthritis so uh, uh, we have to be uh, careful with the use of photorthosis as it can impact uh, other uh, joint proximal to the ankle joint So the limitations of our study is that there is no direct correlation with clinical outcomes, but there's an incoming study for that, and there was no control group, but there's also an incoming study for that. So custom photorthosis decrease in color inversion moment. It, it could help clinicians in the prescription of photorthosis, but further studies should focus on the clinical meaningfulness of those biomechanical results. Thank you for your attention.